Wordle is a popular game, and the general idea of the game is to find the word that was pre-selected. So we can give it a try by typing in a word that is 5 letters long, and if we get any kind of gray results, then that letter does not appear in the word. So we can give it another try. And so now we have two letters that do appear in the word. So we can try something else, and we get our result back. And so again, we have the Y and the E are the correct letters in the word, but they're just in the wrong spot. However, the R is in the correct spot. So we can then try something else, and then we win. So we took four guesses to win the game. If we try something else, we can just keep trying something just so we lose the game. And after our sixth try, the game is over, and the answer was words. So there's a lot going on in this game. As we type our letters, we are disabling a text box and then enabling the following text box. We could hit the backspace key to go back a letter, and we could also use this keyboard at the bottom to enter in our letters. However, because the G and R are not in the word, I cannot even click on these letters for these words because we know it's not in the place. So we can try a different word, we can type these in, and we won the game. So we have a lot of moving parts to do in this game, and we are going to try to make it as simple as possible. And we're not going to need to bring in any additional libraries for this, we are just going to use StimulusJS. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.